For centuries, the Arab world used the stars for navigation, and that is why some of them have names of Arabic origin, like Aldebaran, which means the follower, and Akrab, which means the scorpion. And today, the region is renewing its ambitions and investing in exploration towards the sky. Over the past five years, we've noticed uh, an incredible rejuvenation and re-emphasis of the importance of the space sector, particularly from the governments of the KSA and the UAE who launched their national space strategies in an accelerated manner. We think that there is going to be a real run for the money when it comes to uh, the standing of the space programs of our regional players in relation to global counterparts. According to the global management consultancy firm McKinsey, the value of the space industry could reach $1 trillion by 2030, and that's from $447 billion today. A huge industry that the region wants to tap into. Our market intelligence suggests that the regional space sector market size is around $10 billion today. And that's expected to grow at an impressive rate of around 22%. Uh, to reach around $40 billion by 2030. An example of this is seen in Oman. They recently announced creating the region's first spaceport, which will be strategically based in the Sultanate's port city of Dukum, closer to the Earth's equator. Another player in the region is the UAE. With a more than $860 million space sector, they sent their first astronaut to space in 2019. We started this uh, endeavor together uh, in 2017. We've been selected, it was in 2019. I spent seven days on board the International Space Station that was marked as the first mission for the United Arab Emirates. The UAE now has several satellites and successfully deployed its Mars Hope probe back in 2021 that is still circling and studying the planet. Recently, they announced a new mission to send an explorer craft to the asteroid belt by 2028 searching for clues of life's origin. I think this is a very interesting time and uh, here uh, in the United Arab Emirates we are committed uh, to participate and to be uh, a very uh, active uh, player in terms of uh, human space flight and space sector in general. Hazar al-Mansouri is one of six Arabs that represent the region in space travel. I anticipated after uh, that, that flight in 2019 that we will see uh, other countries from the region participating and starting their own human space flight program. And uh, that's what happened. In May this year, Hazal watched Saudi Arabia send its astronauts to space as part of the Axiom 2 space mission, including the first Arab female astronaut, Rayana Barnawi. 